Hi students, good morning of you. I am Asviya Samuthi, working as school student in Jatpais School, Jami at Vijayanagar State. Good morning students. This is Srinivas, teacher of English, Jilla Parshatai School, Jami, Vijayanagar, Andhra Pradesh. Friends, now we are going to show a beautiful video. Listen and watch carefully. Find a real, find a real me So let's go, seize the feeling Cause you know, it's time for the meaning Now we show Find a real, find a real me So let's go, seize the feeling Cause you know, it's time for the meaning Now we show Find a real, find a real me So let's go, seize the feeling Okay friends, you might have enjoyed the video, okay? Now, I am going to ask some questions to you, okay? What do you see in the video? Hmm? Yes, there are mother animals and their kids. Okay, okay, good. What is the theme of this video? Hmm? Very good, excellent. The love and affection of the mother. Good, good. Okay, uh, I want to clarify my doubt. Whom do you love most in your family? Your mom or your daddy? Somebody say both. No, no, no. I want to say one person. Hmm. Whom do you love most? Mother. Excellent. Everybody loves mother. My next question is, why do we love mother? Hmm. We love mother for affection, forgiveness, kindness okay she's always thinks about our future very good she prides when we get success and she encourages all the time so mother is the key figure in the family so today we are going to introduce the poem my mother let us start our poem my mother okay uh, do you know who writes this poem yes it is written by rabindranath tagore he is also called gurudev or viswakavi okay he got nobel prize in 1913 for his gitanjali he was the first non european poet who got Nobel Prize for Literature. He is a famous essayist, novelist and a playwright. His poems reflect our Indian heritage and culture. He established a, a beautiful concept school, Santhiriket in Kolkata. Okay, now let us see his power in the poem, My Mother. I cannot remember my mother Only sometime in the midst of my play 
a tune seems to hover over my plaything the tune of some song that she used to hum while rocking my cradle I cannot remember my mother but when in the early autumn morning the smell of the shyly flowers flows in the air the scent of the morning service in the temple comes to me as the scent of my mother I cannot remember my mother only when from my bedroom window I send my eyes into the blue of the distant sky I feel that the stillness of my mother's gaze on my face has spread all over the sky Okay, dear students, just I read you out to observe your books. I can't remember my mother. Only sometimes in the midst of my play, a tune seems to hover over my playthings. The tune of some song that she used to hum while rocking my cradle. Okay. First of all, we have to see the glossary. here tune what is meant by tune it is a series of a musical notes which comes in order okay hover remains in the air it means remain in the air we can say fly also okay hum to sing a tune with lips closed rocking moving gently this way and that way cradle a small bed for the baby that can be rocked okay friends now you see what are the characters or persons involved in the stanza one already you have read the poem here the speaker as a boy we can observe the first character first person the speaker as the boy the other boys in the playground and boys mother so there are three persons involved in the first stanza what is the setting or physical location of the poem yes the setting or physical location of the poem is the, the playground okay what is the main action of the characters and the speaker here the speaker playing and listening the tune okay the other children are playing here mother rocking the cradle and singing the tune these are the main actions so here the poet ravindranath tagore uses beautiful images which appeals to ear because we can hear the hum of the mother when she rock to sleep the boy okay students now the gist of the stanza one okay here the poet says he cannot remember his mother but tries to recall and recollects his mother the face of his mother when he plays with other boys he is able to here a tune which is used to be sung by his mother as she rocked him to sleep in the cradle okay okay friends let's start the stanza 2 i can't remember my mother 
but when in the early autumn morning the smell of the shuli flowers floats in the air the scent of the morning service in the temple comes to me as scent of my mother okay friends now let us watch the glossary here autumn you know it is the season which comes between the winter and the summer so in this season the trees fall the leaves okay next one shuli flower it's a kind of small white red flower it sends fragrance into the air okay here scent we know the meaning of scent that means perfume float rest or move on or near the surface of the liquid without sinking okay now let us discuss who are the persons involved in the stanza too here speaker the priests because they serve in the temple other devotees okay what is the setting or location the setting or location of the stanza 2 is temple what are the actions involved in the stanza 2 here the speaker offering flowers to god in the temple and the feeling of the scent here offering the flowers and feeling and other devotees offering the prayer mother also performing the puja these are the main actions performed by the persons who involved in the stanza here one image we can observe that is the scent of the morning service appeals to nose here the poet uses the image which senses to the nose okay students listen carefully this is the gist of the stanza 2 here the poet says he cannot remember his mother but when in autumn season the shuli flowers send the sweet smell in the air which are used in the morning service in the temple the poet senses the flowers as the fragrance of his mother perhaps his mother used to those shuli flowers to performing puja this is the last stanza i can't remember my mother only when from the bedroom window i send my eyes into the blue of the distant sky i feel that the stillness of my mother's gaze on my face as spread all over the sky let us watch the glossary stillness without moving gaze on steady look spread cover a wider area what about the persons who involved in the stanza 3 here speaker and his mother only two persons in one what is the location or setting of a physical setting of the poem is in the bedroom at the window what are the actions performed by the main characters the speaker looking out the distant sky through the bedroom window okay here the poet uses the image stillness of mother's gaze spread all over the sky okay friends now we are going to know the gist of the stanza 3 here again the poet says he cannot remember his mother when he looks out through the window of his bedroom at the blue sky and feels that his mother's gaze spread all around the sky friends let us discuss the features of the poem and appreciation of the poem now you see 
here poet rabindranath tagore uses imagery as his poetic device we can observe mother's presence in three stanzas in the first stanza we can observe the mother's presence in tunes of crying things in the second stanza we observe the mother's presence in the fragrance of shmuli flowers we can observe the mother's presence in the image spread all over the sky in this way he uses imagery as a powerful weapon to the poem then what is the critical appreciation of the poem here the poet creates including visual imagery and sound imagery here mother talking the cradle here the child senses with his eyes and ears okay students i think you heard the total gist of the poem now i am going to ask some more questions regarding this poem you listen and answer them the first question is who wrote the poem my mother okay okay students second one how does the poet feel the presence of his mother in the stanza one okay students how does the poet feel the presence of his mother in the stanza 2 okay think and answer it the third question is how does the poet feel the presence of his mother in the stanza 3 okay answer it please okay guys the next one is how can you say the poem conveys sadness the poem conveys sadness pick out the suggestive expression in the poem pick out the suggestive expression in the poem okay friends next one what are the imageries do you find in the stanza 1 what are the imageries do you find in the stanza 1 okay the next one what are the imageries do you find in the stanza 2 okay think and write down next one what are the imageries do you find in the stanza 3 okay guys list out please right are you answering okay next one is why do you think the poet use the expression i can't remember my mother why do you think the poet use the expression i can't remember my mother okay friends let's see the same questions with key in the powerpoint presentation okay thank you Sir. Find the real, find the real me. So let's go, see the feeling. 'Cause you know, it's our fault of meaning. Now we show, we 
coming and winning. Thank you.